When I get back home, I'll tell everyone I met you. Hi. What can I do for you? You saw our front sign, didn't you? This is where all the beautiful signs of the Strip become a reality. It all comes from Michelangelo's imagination. We do a little work here and there, too, sure, but he's the real artist. I've been here over a year now, though I'm not one to get tired for long. I plan to roam the wasteland once I'm ready. The people need light and kindness. There's too much fear and pain out there already. He's the reason the strip shines like a star at night. Mike's imagined and built every sign, billboard, and light you'll see around here. He's the reason the strip shines like a star at night. Mike's imagined and built every sign, billboard, and light you'll see around here. Check out the back of the shop. He's usually working there. Bye. Oh, hello, I am Michelangelo. How can I... Uh, wait. Are you here to deliver more billboard requests? Please tell me you're not a messenger on behalf of Mr. House. Because spending myself to the edge of artistic oblivion for Mr. House sums up my existence since I had to leave Vault 21. That's why... Most people don't uh, understand what it means to grow up in a vault. Its corridors, its walls, radiate a warmth that feels safe, honest. But here, everything is huge and threatening. It's so empty that I think one of these days I'll just snap. I feel haunted by something terrible. Working in such a huge workshop often makes me shiver. I can't even leave the strip. Yes, I think so. But please, uh, keep quiet about it. Without inspiration, I'm as good as a tumbleweed drifting in the barren wasteland. Ah, an educated fellow. Now that is almost as rare as artistry. So, how can you help me regain my inspiration? Thank you for the offer, but I think I really can't go to see... Wait a minute. I know, I don't have to necessarily be there to see it. Yes, yes, that's it. I have a camera. It is old, but it should work. Perhaps you could bring me images of inspiring landmarks. I've always wanted to see the dinosaur and its thermometer sign at Novak. Then there's the famous Bison Steve sign. The McCarran Airfield and the Helios One power station signs are of much interest to my work. Like the Sunset Sarsaparilla headquarters bottle. Thank you. I really can't thank you enough for this. Please, get me all the pictures. I'll compensate you accordingly. Oh, and if you need more camera film, then just come back and I'll get it for you. Again, thank you.
Hello. Hey, excuse me, but I'm busy.
Cut it out, will you? Have you seen that tower on the strip all lit up? You can see it for miles.
Aha, the brave photographer returns. Good to see you. Oh, that's wonderful, just what I need. Thank you, brave one. Here's some compensation for your work. You have earned it, my friend. Now I can finally unveil my masterpieces to the world, all thanks to you. Come visit me again sometime. Aha, the brave photographer returns. Good to see you. Well, all right. So, um, bye. Hey, it's you. Michelangelo told me about your photographs. I hope to see the world one day like you do. Bye. to speak with you, ma'am. Welcome to the NCR Embassy. How can I help you? The Embassy offices are to your left, while the barracks and living quarters are to the right. If you're looking for a history lesson, I suggest you talk to Ambassador Crocker. Ambassador Crocker can be found in his office through the door to my right and at the end of the hall. Ma'am? At this rate, one Securitron's gonna be enough to defend the whole strip. I'm glad you could make it. I have something I wanted to discuss with you. It's a very important matter, and I have a strong feeling you're the perfect person for the job. I'm sure you've noticed that things are a little tense around here with all the issues between the NCR, the Legion, and Mr. House. It doesn't take a genius to see that something big is gonna happen soon. To be honest with you, the NCR is in a tight spot. But if we fail now, it's the people here that are going to suffer the most. I'm not willing to let that happen, and I don't think you're the kind of person that would either. To the Northeast is a settlement. The locals here call them boomers. They are sitting on a munition stockpile that would be invaluable to us. I would like you to get in contact with them, and then do whatever it takes to convince them to help us. Unfortunately, the boomers keep to themselves and are, let's say, hostile to all outsiders. That's why I need someone like you. Someone with your background and reputation would have a better chance of reaching them than anyone I have available. In exchange for your help, you would receive complete amnesty for any past crimes against the NCR, as well as additional benefits and perks. Do you think you would be able to do this for me? That's excellent news. So they'll help us, right? Excellent work. I can't tell you how useful that would be. In any event, I have another assignment ready and waiting for you. But we can speak of it later. Rest up, and when you're ready, speak to me again. Good to see such an outstanding citizen of the NCR. What can I do for you, my friend? Interested in politics, huh? 
Well, grab a seat and get comfortable. I've been in politics quite a while now, always had the drive to do it even when I was young. It's just something I was drawn to. I started my career over 20 years ago, back in the NCR as the local mayor, and worked my way up from there. I managed President Kimball's first run for a seat on the council. I suppose that's why I have this ambassadorship. I was elected to this post seven years ago. I'm the third NCR representative to serve here in Vegas. Now, I've had my share of ups and downs along the way, but I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. That's it. Anything else you wish to know? So I did. As you may have noticed, our position here in New Vegas is tenuous. We've made great strides, sure, but the NCR is not welcome here, merely tolerated. And even then, not by everyone. We've had reports of violence against NCR citizens in a neighborhood just to the northeast called Freeside. Ever been there? I'm inclined to agree, but it's a slum with NCR citizens in it. And as such, it falls under my jurisdiction. Violence is something of a way of life there, but there's been a disturbing rise in the number of attacks on our people lately. More worrying is the fact that our sources suggest the violence is being perpetrated by the gang that runs the place, the Kings. I need someone to look into this that won't attract attention. Would you be interested? Good. Our men have come up with two different plans for seeing an end to the violence. First, our sources have tracked most of the attacks back to a king named Pacer. The consensus is that the violence will stop if he's removed. The problem is we can't simply kill him. In the current climate, the NCR would likely be blamed for his death. There is an alternative option, but my sources feel that getting rid of this Pacer fellow is our best shot. Make it look like an accident, or pin the deed on someone else. Look into this guy's affairs and I'm sure you'll find something you can use. See? That's exactly the type of information we can use. In fact, that's perfect. Those fancy weapons the Van Graffs pedal aren't exactly common. It goes without saying that actually getting the Van Graffs to do the deed would be the ideal solution. However, if Pacer were killed with either a laser or a plasma-based weapon, everyone would automatically assume the Van Graffs did it. Still, unless you want several dozen armed men at your throat, you'd have to kill them without being seen. Be careful. I'll leave the method up to you. However, there is an alternative if you'd rather try to handle things without bloodshed. In that case, we could take a different tact, but one that I at least have more experience with, diplomacy. If we can't go after the man responsible, we'll simply appeal to the man above him. The Kings, including our friend Pacer, report to the leader of their gang, a man who calls himself the King. Go and talk to the King. Try to convince him to put an end to this violence. Pacer's a punk but he won't likely disobey a direct order. The king might not be open to the idea at first, so you may have to integrate yourself with him. Do whatever it takes. When it's done, one way or the other, report back here and we'll take it from there. I wish you luck. If you run into some difficulty and think you'd rather just take the shot with Pacer, that's fine too. Things have been a lot better since you helped with those soldier boys. Thanks again. So, what can I do for you? I'd like to help you out, especially considering all you've done. But that's a pretty big favor you're asking for. 
and you've already used yours. Was there anything else you wanted? All right, I'll see you later. Sounds like the NCR and the Legion are both gearing up for a fight. And seeing a lot more soldiers around. I trust you have something to report concerning the Freeside situation? Yes, do you have something to report? That's most unfortunate. In this circumstance, I've been instructed to send you along to Colonel Moore over at Hoover Dam for further orders. The Colonel will likely send you back to Freeside with a squad of armed men, for all the good that will do. Oh, I like the Colonel just fine. She's a good soldier, one of the best. I just don't think her general approach to things is a good fit here. See, the Colonel likes to solve things neatly, quickly, and efficiently through a show of force if possible and through actual force if necessary. That won't work here. Unless she plans on killing half the population of Freeside, sending soldiers to the area will only make things worse. I'd suggest you speak to Colonel Shu over at Camp McCarran. He's much more level-headed about this sort of thing. He's also in a better position to bargain with the people of Freeside, seeing as how he's in charge of water and power distribution in the area. Still, I'm only mentioning it as an option. My official orders are to direct you to Colonel Moore. Godspeed. Something I can do for you? Yes, what is it? Ah, that. I'm surprised he didn't send you to Colonel Moore. That'd be her jurisdiction. Because he's looking to avoid a bloodbath. I get it, he knows me. All right, Moore's not gonna like it, but that's for Crocker to worry about. Go to the leader of the Kings and tell him that I'll make sure Freeside gets more water, power, and food as long as the violence there stops. some squatters talking about some fancy pants rangers coming in the area soon like we need more NCR here okay I need some answers now these guys just barged in here and said they were under orders to keep me here until you arrived I'm about five seconds away from telling my men to take them down so speak fast that sounds fair and all I have to do is try to tone down the attacks on the squatters you say this is bullshit are we even talking about dealing with these guys? Pace, this even... isn't really a good time to have this discussion. Wrong. This is exactly the right time. I'm about to prevent you from making a huge mistake. Pace, don't do this. I won't stand with you if you do. Then I'll stand on my own, just like I always have. Just like a king should. Nelson's 
Nelson's, Nelson's back, back in our hands. hands. Defend it this time. Hope we, we can, can defend, defend it this time. time. The Ranger vets are on their way from Baja. Hey. Never seen one before, but I heard. I, I can't believe Pace is gone. He was always right here, you know, always cracking me up with some story or another. Anyway, what did you want? All right, I'll see you later. Heard they chew nails and spit napalm. The Ranger vets are on their way from Baja. Never seen one. I heard they chew nails and spit napalm. Hello. Ah, hello. I trust you have something to report concerning the Freeside situation? Yes. How did it go? Good, good. Choose a man you can count on to handle a crisis. I'm just glad that things didn't end in violence. Here. This is what remains of the funds initially allocated for this operation. Also, I've been directed to send you on to Colonel Moore at Hoover Dam. She's been following my reports on your exploits with some interest. As I don't have any further assignments for you, I'd recommend going to see her if you need more work.